One person is dead after an officer involved shooting in Bemidji Wednesday night. It happened near the intersection of 30th Street Northwest and Ridgeway Avenue. And that's where our Josh Peterson is standing by with more on the story. Josh. All right, thank you very much, Dennis. Bemidji Police Chief Mike Maston tells us that an officer initiated a traffic stop near this intersection last night when an officer noticed in the, in the back seat a, a, rear, a passenger in the rear of the vehicle that uh, had a felony warrant out for his arrest. Now, when the rear seat passenger was asked to exit the vehicle to be placed under arrest, officers observed a handgun on the passenger. Now, officers began to struggle with the suspect for control of the weapon, leading to both the officer and a sheriff's deputy firing their weapons, striking the suspect, who was later pronounced dead at the scene. The officer was wearing a body camera at the time of the incident. Dr. Matt Steam from the Leech Lake Law Enforcement Program says that cases like this will take time to process. They're not necessarily going to get answers today. They might not get answers tomorrow, but answers will come out. Uh, law enforcement in today's day and age are transparent and they will share that information, but everybody's got rights and the investigation's integrity is the most important thing. So that's really the most important thing is that it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take some time. All right, now in a statement to the media, Chief Maston says that he has been asked to not make any further statements beyond the initial press release to protect the integrity of the continued investigation. The BCA will complete an independent investigation into the facts of the case. And Dennis, the BCA also recovered a handgun here at the scene. Back to you. All right, thank you very much, Josh, for that live report from Bemidji tonight. Both the officer and deputy have been placed on standard administrative leave. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.